I'm Rib Hillis, and you're listening to Rocking at the Movies with Shane Comley White. Well, welcome to you all and to today's guest, one of those who you might have known who has in invaded our homes on a regular basis in a very good way, let's hopefully say that, and has demolished our homes and thankfully rebuilt them just before the owners were able to return. Um, a gentleman who has been in many, many TV shows and also movies, and I'm honored to welcome Rip Hillis to Rocking at the Movies. Welcome, Rip. It's an honor to have you on board here. Hi there. Thank you for having me. I, I love that intro. I never really considered that I invaded people's homes before, but sure, I guess I have. <laughs> It's a good way, I hope. I hope it's a, it's a good invasion, not, not a negative one. I'm here one. to demolish your house and build you a new one. But yeah. There we go. Even in this current situation, we can still rebuild people's hopes and dreams. So maybe that's, that's another way of a makeover. So just to explain, if those who haven't actually known, um, Rub, you've been involved in Extreme Makeover, the home edition, for a number of years, back in the day, about 10 years ago. Yeah, it, it was... Uh, a quite popular show here in America, and I, I know it got, uh, you know, syndicated worldwide, and it was yep. on for, I think, probably, let's say it was on for eight to ten years. I ended up doing two seasons of that show, mm -hmm. kind of right in the middle, and I think seasons five or six, and it was, yeah, it was quite popular and really um, amazing experience. I still yep. am in touch with some of the families that I helped on that show. Okay. Uh, and I get messages from and stuff, so yeah, it was really quite a good time. How how emotional was it for you when you actually saw the the reactions of those of the families that you you helped? Because that to me must have been something amazing. I I have asked been asked this question, and what I'll say is don't don't underestimate the power of soundtrack because okay. in real life it was amazing, and in real life it was quite emotional. But when you watch the show at home, and you know we had our editors had time to work on it and cut it together. And you'd have the shot, you know, of the bus moving and then you'd have the family where there used to be a father and he unfortunately passed away and the two young boys and the mom's crying and then they'll cut to the house and then they'll cut to, you know, a, a shot of, um, you know, a big construction worker crying and they'll play the piano music in the background mm -hmm. and you're all by yourself in your house. That's when your emotions start to flow really easy. When you yeah. stand on the street with everyone, uh, it's definitely amazing, but uh, it was it wasn't, it, it was, I didn't find myself crying as much as when I watched the show. Like it's all packaged yeah. together so perfectly. Yeah. yeah. So it was more of an excitement emotion rather than the, the heart felt like, oh my goodness, this is, check their reaction kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it not, I, I found it was a lot of excitement uh, mm -hmm. in, for me in that moment. I, you know, it was to stand there and the, this particular family, the, the Frisch family, the one I'm thinking of, you know, I got close with the three boys. Um, I, built a room for one of the boys he and his father would fly model airplanes together and yep. you know it's incredible to see their reaction to the home um and that you know and a, lot, a lot of other people stay around but it was yeah it was definitely exciting but the emotion everyone wants to know did you cry all the time <laughs> um, you know and again soundtrack is key i wish yeah. i had soundtrack in my everyday life that would be pretty cool yeah imagine living by a soundtrack you know everyone would see exactly what your emotions are at that particular time either stay away from you or be welcomed into your circle you never know <laughs> and I, I mean we were talking about earlier but you, soundtrack would inform people what kind of a mood you're in yeah how about now when everyone's wearing masks you can't see what someone's how they're reacting i yeah. smiled at this woman the other day and I realized she had no idea that I was being pleasant and smiling because my face was covered. So no, exactly. That's the the common reaction that we normally have or interaction with people is kind of gone out the window at the moment, and it's it's so difficult to to communicate. And that's why I like these platforms. At least we've got uh, um, an online platform that we can still see each other in a way. But sadly, can't really shake hands and all that. But um, it is. It's having a soundtrack that can depict your emotion or your your happiness at the time would be amazing. But imagine we'll be just listening to so many different people's soundtracks that it's just going to bombard everyone with so much music all the time. So, yeah. Um, so, Rob, any other movies that you've been in? Can you tell us a little bit about the roles that you've played? Because you've been through quite a various different range of roles. Am yeah, I, um, I, I have. I, I started off on a soap opera, played a yep. doctor. 
I, I'm not actually a doctor, but I played one on TV. That must uh, have been difficult. Doctor. Yeah. Uh, there was some some intense dialogue, some some you know uh, medical uh, terminology you had to learn, but it was a soap opera. Um, yeah. uh, it was a General Hospital spinoff called Port Charles. Yep. And that was a lot of fun. And then I you know over the years I've played anything from you know the good guy, the father, the husband to the bad guy. Uh, yeah. Recently, I've done a bunch of uh, Lifetime movies. I actually. This is a, a pretty fun month. I have two Lifetime movies are out right now on the Lifetime Movie Network. One aired on January 1st called The Wrong uh, Real Estate Agent. Okay. And then one, one's coming out on January 15th called The Wrong Mr. Right. And these are all done by the same company and their whole, it's The Wrong, The Wrong, right. you know, the wrong Teacher, the wrong, the Wrong Boy Next Door, The Wrong Mr. Right. And that, and those, um, and the wrong Mr. Right, I get to play the wrong Mr. Right, which is pretty fun okay. uh, to play the bad guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> and what's, to you get to explore. What's your favorite kind of role that you enjoy playing or that you relate to most? I, the film that we just did, Hunted, which yep. um, we just wrapped principal shooting on it in Montana in October. I would say that was probably my favorite role thus far because I wrote it, co-wrote it uh, with my partner and director, Ari Novak, and I produced it and I was the male lead. So it was amazing because we wrote, you know, when, I don't know if you've written, I, I'm, this is my first script that I've written, but, mm. you know, you, you take bits and pieces from what you know, whether and yeah. it isn't necessarily the character's name's Jackson. Jackson is not me. But yeah. Jackson is, a, is about as much like me as anybody could be. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a lot of fun. And that character was fun. It was uh, about a hunting guide, uh, lives in Montana, takes a client up on a hunting trip, and he comes across $100 million in cash and bearer bonds. Nice. And, um, and you'll have to find out if he, if he decides to take it back and tell you that the bad guys are definitely coming looking for it. And so we had a lot of fun shooting it. And that, that combined, you know, it was very heavy in sort of stunts and action. Yeah. It was a rock climbing sequence. There was a river, a whitewater river sequence. We have an ice climbing sequence that we're going to have to shoot coming up uh, in February. There were fight sequences and sh lots of uh, gunplay. So for me, that was sort of the, we came up with the movie by saying, well, what are we doing? Coronavirus had shut everything down in Hollywood. So my partner and I, nothing was going on. All the projects that we had on the burner were taken off. So we're like, well, we should just make our own movie. Let's write a movie about that has like guns and hunting and climbing and all the cool shit that we love to do. And exactly. You know, if not, why not? Yeah. And then you were in, or oh, the, I'm assuming that your client was Rachel Cook. Is that correct? Yes. The okay. lovely and talented Rachel Cook. Because um, um, I was looking on IMDb and there isn't much of a profile around her her acting career. So she's relatively oh, new. Rachel, Rachel, this is her first acting job. And Rachel, it literally could be a star if she really? wants to. And I, and I think she does. I, this was her first job. She took it. Uh, it was not something she'd done before. but was something she was, she was interested in. Yeah. Uh, my partner, Ari, had found her through social media and just sort of liked her. Obviously, she's gorgeous, uh, loved what she looked like, but just liked, sort of got a sense of who she is. And I, I could not support it more. I mean, she was absolutely incredible. There's some scenes that I'm in the scene with her and we're, mm -hmm. we're going back and forth. And I'm literally like, I felt like I wanted to look around like, is anyone else seeing this? Because she's delivering okay. these, these lines with, that were just so incredible. Um, she's, a, she's, a ma she's magical. And really? I, 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 I imagine big things where it'll be fun to say that we launched Rachel Cook's career. Well, that would be, that would be quite a nice little pat on the shoulder to have, you know, yeah. for, to do that. You know, so. And she deserved, she, she did an amazing job and we yeah. put her, ah, we put her through the ringer. Really? <laughs> so she went through all the training and everything that you need to. Yeah? Uh, we, she, we did a big fight scene with her. We had her uh, rock climbing up. Uh, my partner is a professional ice climber. I'm a yeah. avid ice climber and a rock climber. So we had her in the water doing whitewater raftings, uh, yeah. river stunts. I mean, she was, when it was all said and done, yeah, she, she got quite the experience. And it was her first movie. So I said, well, the, every other movie. And it was not warm 
We were up in Montana in October. Yeah. It was quite cold. And we had, running around, we had a running around and uh, basically just a tied off top. <laughs> Shame, man. <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. But you hire Rachel Cook. Yeah. You, you know, you hire Rachel Cook for what she looks like, but obviously we pushed it as far as we could. But yeah, she was a trooper. She was amazing. Yeah. 